It's a cloudy, beautiful day in autumn in New Jersey. Just want to touch on this little documentary. Document the time frame anyway, 2021. Emerald Ash Borer. Top of that trees dead. Top of that trees dead. Top of that trees dead. Triple ash dead. They're all ash. Dead. 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 Excuse the plane. It'll pass. So, typically the ash do drop a little early, but these didn't have leaves on all year. We have oaks that are starting to sprout out on the trunks as a result of all the extra light in here. And at least we have firewood. Started lopping that one up yesterday. Since the 60s we've been dealing with hemlock blight, woolly adelgid. Before that early 1900s, the American chestnut, they're virtually all gone. In the lake community here we live in, a lot of chestnut log cabins. All part of history now. And we'll have to see what this lantern fly brings us. That's the latest. It's just a common trait, seems to be this open trade, all coming from Asia. Emerald ash borer snuck in some non killed and dried pallets or something. You can do your own research to see what they say about that. Well, no more Louisville sluggers. I think they're made of ash, baseball bats. Kind of depressing. It is what it is. Life goes on. The other ones will take over. There's that firewood I mentioned. You see the woodpecker gets in and strips the bark down once the tree's infected. If the tree has leaves on it in the fall, there's no guarantee it comes back in the spring. So it interrupts the downflow cycle that feeds the roots for the, the winter. And uh, the roots die off, I guess, the way I understand it. And the tree doesn't come back to life in the following spring. But it'll heat the house. Overabundance of wood. Here it is, January 2022. Happy New Year. It's a follow-up some video I took back in the fall I didn't realize it's still on my camera but the ash tree situation one in my yard here I don't know if you can see this tree was other than one limb that was uh, not so healthy this year and a bunch of suckers coming out of the sides of it ie new growth branches um, the woodpeckers started drilling into it, scaling the bark. I guess they're hungry. It's cold out. Um, other than it is warming up, we got a little freezing rain coming down right now. But uh, yeah, so this one's a goner. I did have this sprayed in the spring to try and save it, but he did say we'll know in two years. And the fact that the woodpeckers are in this one now means i got to take it down, because it's going to be dead anyway. 
So while the lake is lowered down and this tributary is low, some frozen ground, I think I'll drop it. And then uh, maybe hopefully save a few thousand dollars for tree removal. Burn it in a wood stove. I mentioned hemlocks before also. I have some here. One got sick, but they're, uh, they're actually hanging in pretty well. There's some large areas in the state forest nearby that uh, the hemlock groves have all died out. So these little isolated ones, they're doing well. But just wanted to add that in. Bye bye ash tree. Woodpeckers are happy though. Okay. Hope you all have a happy new year. Bye for now.